Elementor AI is here. Now, not only can you use Elementor's easy to use visual page builder to create stunning website pages, you can now leverage AI inside Elementor to effortlessly create engaging copy and content for your WordPress website. One of the coolest things about Elementor AI is that now anyone can create custom AI generated code without actually writing any code. And today I'm going to share exactly how you can use Elementor AI to build better website pages within minutes with the help from AI. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Elementor AI, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into Elementor AI. <music> Okay, so before we leverage Elementor AI to improve the way that we build website pages, we first need to take a look at the pricing. In terms of the pricing point for Elementor AI, anyone can get started for $2.99 per month, and this is billed annually. Now you can access Elementor AI on Elementor's free plan as well as Elementor Pro. Now it's important to note that if you're using Elementor's free plan and you decide you want to start using Elementor AI, then you will have some limitations. For example, you cannot access custom CSS and you cannot generate custom code using AI. You can only really use the AI writer, which can definitely improve your productivity and the way that you create content on your website pages in terms of copy. Okay, so I've upgraded to Elementor Pro and I've already purchased Elementor AI. As you can see, I'm creating a new blog post, so I'm going to use Elementor AI to help me create this post. First things first, I'm going to navigate down the page and I'm going to create a section, a new structure, and then I'm going to add a widget. I'm going to locate the editor, and here's the text editor. I'm going to drag that in here. And to enable Elementor AI for this widget, I'm going to simply navigate up to the text widget and click on Write with AI. Then once this AI interface has loaded, we can come down and we can add a prompt. So think about the content that you want to create with AI. We can also see some suggested prompts that we can use to quickly get started. I'm actually going to make use of this prompt up here, create a blog post for, I'm going to click here, and then complete the prompt by adding the seven best free project management tools for small businesses. So as you can see, I've added my prompt, create a blog post for the seven best free project management tools for small businesses. I want to create an entire post using AI. So once you've added your prompt, simply come down and click on generate text. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And as you can see, just like that, Elementor AI has generated a post based on my prompt. It's quite a basic post for now, but I can always add more content later on. So what you would do is take the time to review, edit, and personalize this response. You can either do that now inside the AI editor, or you can do it after once you've added this content to your post. We can also navigate down the page, and we have these options here. We can simplify the language, we can make it longer, we can make it shorter, and we can also fix spelling and grammar. So these are different AI elements that we can leverage. Then below that, we can change the tone if we like, and we can also translate this content to a different language. So it's incredibly powerful and useful what Elementor has done by putting this AI functionality directly inside the Elementor page builder. Okay, so I'm not going to use any of these other options. I'm going to come down and click on use text. Now I can also create a new prompt, but I want to use this blog post. And as you can see, that's going to insert that post into my text widget. Again, I can navigate over to the right hand side and I can further customize this AI generated text. 
and you can enable Elementor AI on any website page. For example, you might have an existing title. You can use AI to regenerate that title and make it more compelling. So there's lots you can do. Now, what I'm going to do is navigate down the page and I'm going to add another widget. I'm going to go ahead and add a single structure again and then navigate up here and add a new widget. I'm going to type in image and I'm going to grab this image widget and drag that down here. Now, before I navigate up here and choose an image, you'll notice this AI element over here and it currently says coming soon. Now, what Elementor is going to release is an image generator. They're going to allow you to add a prompt and generate an image based on your prompt to add into your website. That is going to be an absolute game changer. However, for now, what we're going to do is upload an image. I'm going to use an image I've already uploaded. So I'm going to use this image here and then click on select. Now, what I can do with each of my widgets is navigate over to advanced and then navigate down the page and click on custom CSS. And what we can do is use Elementor AI to generate custom CSS. So to do that, simply click on code with AI. Then think about what you want to do with your widget. In our case, we have an image. So what do we want to do with this widget with custom CSS? And we don't have to touch any code. So go ahead and create a prompt based on what you want to do with that widget, with that image. Down here, we have some suggested prompts. And these suggestions are incredibly helpful, especially if you're completely new and you have very limited experience with custom CSS or creating code. So I like this prompt up here on hover, animate 20% bigger, rotate 10 degrees, CCW. I'm going to go ahead and click here and then click on generate code. And as you can see, the AI is going to generate your custom CSS code within seconds. You might want to make a few changes to the code if you like. For us, that could be in terms of the scale and the rotation, as well as the time down here. You can see how AI generated code can save you so much time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on insert and then navigate down. And as you can see, as I hover my mouse over this image, it rotates like this. I'm going to make the scale smaller by navigating over to scale and changing that. And I'm also going to change the rotation degree over here to just three. And I'm happy with that. I like the slight rotation and increase in scale. So as you can see, you can do all sorts. I can also do it with this text element here. If I click on this text editor, I can navigate up to advanced and then navigate down to custom CSS and then click on code with AI. And then all I need to do is add a prompt describing what I wanna do with this text. Again, we have prompt suggestions down here. For example, if I add a 3D shadow to the text and then click on generate code and then click on insert, you can see that I've now added a text shadow with custom CSS. Now, I don't like the look of that, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete that custom CSS. Okay, so we've looked at how you can create content with Elemental AI and how you can generate custom CSS. Now what we want to do is generate custom code using AI. To do that, I'm going to navigate down the page and I'm going to come down and add a new widget here. This is a single section again. I'm going to click add and then type in HTML. And here's the code snippet. I'm going to drag that and paste that down here. And as you can see, with this code widget, I can navigate up to code with AI and then add a prompt based on the code that I want to use. Create a range slider that goes from $1 to $10, show the cost below the slider. Now, this is a similar prompt to the prompt that Elementor AI used in their introduction video. I want to see if this works. So I'm going to navigate down and click on generate code. And again, I can make small changes here, or I can navigate over to insert. Now, as you can see, I have it here. However, this slider is not working, so I will need to play around with this code. Now, what I want to see is if I add that same prompt again, is it going to generate this same HTML code, or is it going to be slightly different? Let's go ahead and try that out by deleting this code, and then navigating back over to code with AI. And I'm going to add that same prompt in here again, and then click on generate code. And as you can see, the code is slightly different. I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert. Okay, so as you can see, the slider's in here and it's slightly different to the slider that we created earlier with the same prompt. So no code is the same. 
And that's the unique thing about AI generated code. The code is never exactly the same, even if you add the same prompt. So before when I added that prompt, this element that was generated with this code, this slider, wasn't working, but now it's working with the same prompt that I just added again. And like I mentioned, I can navigate over to this code snippet and I can make a few changes. However, that is everything I wanted to share in this beginner's tutorial, this introduction tutorial, helping you get started with Elementor AI. They have only just released this integration with AI, and it's just going to get better in the near future. And there we have it guys, that is how you can effortlessly build out your website pages using Elementor AI. Now if you have any questions about Elementor AI, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.